Hi guys, this is Sharon and I tell you, um, I alluded to the fact when I went through the new convention products that I got um, in the kit that I would follow up with you on two products in the kit that I wanted to research a little bit more and today I finally had the time to do so and I'm so happy that I did. Um, what I'm talking about is the body carrier oil blend and the doTERRA sensitive skin carrier oil blend. These are like two of my most exciting finds that doTERRA came out with, frankly. I mean, I love all the home products, don't get me wrong. I know that I'll be enjoying those for a long time. But these two oil blends are quite simply amazing. And I don't think they're getting enough attention. The other thing is, is that um, they are limited time offers. I'm definitely gonna call out to the company and say, can we please have these as standard products? Because I think they're that amazing. I mean, it's very nice that we have the fractionated coconut oil, the carrier oil that we, you know, love and, and use so often for our rollerball blends. But for skincare blends, these are incredible because they have um, combinations of oils, and I'll share with you from my book, that are just so targeted and so well thought out for our skin, both our face and our body. Um, and they're, they're meant to the fact that, first of all, if somebody in your family perhaps is sensitive to essential oils, and it happens, they could still use these because there's no essential oils in them. Um, and then for the whomever else, you perhaps, you can add in an essential oil or two and enhance them even further. So I hope that makes sense. So I'm just gonna kind of get started here. What I'm going to be referencing, I know this is probably gonna come up backwards, right? This is a book that I got from my own skincare company in use um, called Power of the Seed by Susan Parker. Now, you know, it's like a $20 book. It's, it's really just like an encyclopedia, basically, of seed oils, and there are many, may, way more than I even thought, and she didn't even get them all in this first book, um, that are so beneficial for health and beauty, okay? Um, so the, you know, the seed portion of the plant that they make the, these beautiful oils from. And I'm sure the one that would come to your mind would be jojoba oil, but I'll share with you why that really isn't an oil. Anyway, let's get started. So first off, let's just go with the um, Sensitive Skin Carrier Oil Blend. This is really nice, it's a 30 ml bottle, and it comes with a dropper, okay? And I'll show you why that's so good. Um, I've been doing an experiment on myself. I make my own skin oil, okay? and I've very, very happy with it. I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna change, but I've been using this for a few weeks for two reasons. One, I ran out of my skin oil <laughs> that I can use for myself, so I have to make a new batch. So I've been a little lazy, plus my adrenal fatigue, it just hasn't happened, right? So I was able to start playing with this and creating kind of a, a quasi extra special oil from, from this. So this is an oil the carrier oil blends and this one has make sure I get the right one here okay this one has grape seed oil it has rosehip seed oil it has hemp seed oil sunflower seed oil and then tocopherol which is basically a vitamin B vitamin E which keeps the oils from becoming rancid, okay? It just extends the life of these good oils from its antioxidant properties. So many times people will say, and you, if you look in DIY, um, if you do DIY products, they'll say um, putting in the vitamin E is for a preservative. That is not a preservative, so don't get, don't get fooled by that. It's not a preservative, but it does help keep the length of your oils longer before they go rancid, so it gives you extra time. All right, so that's what that's in there for. Um, so this carrier oil blend is beautiful on its own, but here's what I'm doing. You know, our good old yarrow palm, right? So I'm taking about three, four drops of this sensitive skin oil. 
I'm adding in one to two drops of the yarrow palm, so that gives us the um, pomegranate seed oil as well, right? And then a little bit of yarrow. And I'm not even adding any other essential oils to this, but I certainly could. I, I just decided to kind of go down and dirty on this and just see like with a couple of products that doTERRA has off the shelf, how can we like really give ourselves a beautiful, beautiful skin oil without it being very costly? Because you know, some of these skin oil, these companies, the, these skin oils and serums and things, they can charge a pretty penny and why? You know, we've got it now right here. And you can get like four of these to four on this limited time offer. And they're only $16.50 with your wholesale. So for 30 mil, that's a really good price. Now I know the Yarrow Palm is a little more expensive, but again, you're only adding like a drop or two. But between the two of these, you're gonna it's gonna last you quite some time for just a really beautiful skin oil. So let's get to the benefits of that. So I have all my little earmarks here. Um, so that grapeseed oil, what do we do that for? Um, okay, grapeseed oil. Of course, it's pressed from the seeds of grapes, right? High in vitamin E. Um, contains natural chlorophyll and antioxidants. It's rich in vitamins, minerals, and the flavanol proanthocyanin. Well, that mouthful. The oil that helps strengthen collagen and maintain elastin. So. We, that's what we want for our skin, right? We want our skin to keep snap back, maybe not get saggy. Um, then the proteins, of course, that make up the connective tissue in our skin and joints. It's especially high in omega-6 essential fatty acid, lino, linoleic acid, making it a light oil that penetrates the skin layers. So it's good for massage, body oils, etc. So yes, you can use this, of course, on your body too, but, um, I'm treating it as a facial oil. Okay, so that's the grapeseed oil in there. And then next is the hemp seed. Let's see here. Oh, here. And hemp seed oil, of course, that comes from a type of uh, cannabis indica, but it's obviously not the, um, it's not the, uh, it's not cannabis like like marijuana, okay? Okay, it's it's a it's a really one of the hemp and flax are two of the oldest cultivated plants used by mankind because their fibers are so useful in so many different ways. But for the hemp oil, it contains unusual and hard to find polyunsaturated fatty acids, gamma linoleic acid known as GLA at four percent, and stearogenic acid two percent. GLA is um, the anti-inflammatory in there, and it supports the immune system. So this is very good for your skin, and of course it's going into your body internally, as we know what happens putting on your skin goes into your body. Um, while the SDA in it is affected against atopic dermatitis and difficult skin conditions. So hemp oil in there is really good for people that are maybe suffering from any kind of like real skin irritations dermatitis, that kind of thing. Maybe for people that are having to wear masks more often, this could be a very nice oil to try for them. Um, with its broad range of fatty acids, hemp seed oil has the reputation of being called nature's most perfectly balanced oil. So that's awesome, right? Its use on the skin soothes and heals dry skin, minor burns, replenishes moisture, and protects against cellular damage. So a lot of uses for that oil. That's hemp seed oil. That's what's in here. Um, then we go to that rose hip seed oil. Let's see, where are you? Uh, I might have missed tagging that one. I'll find it here in a second. There we go. Rose hip seed oil. Okay. It is pressed from the seeds of wild Chilean rose hips. So rose hips are what 
the, the rose plant produces after the flower, okay? Um, they're very regenerative, nourishing. It um, has a number of compounds that directly benefit the skin. Its fatty acid profile is noteworthy with equal, nearly equal percentages of alpha linoleic and linoleic acid of close to 40% each. It is a generously endowed oil. Its vitamin A content increases elastin, promotes collagen again, and helps to delay age-related breakdown of the skin and underlying tissues. So this is like, this is really powerhouse, guys. Uh, vitamins E and C help to delay the onset of skin aging, nourishing the cells and shielding against oxidation while creating a lipid barrier that protects and supports the skin. Tannins and astringent qualities to rosehip seed oil give it a dry, non-comedogenic non quality. That means it doesn't, um, it doesn't block our pores. Um, it has been found in clinical trials to be active in cell regeneration and treatment for scar tissue and blemishes. The ability of the oil to heal and maintain the texture and softness of the skin is noteworthy. Now I will tell you, I had another little bottle, not quite this big, of rosehip seed oil. So I have been in fact putting in a drop of that as well, but you don't really need to, okay? So, Again, this is, this is a really beautiful oil. And then, let's see, am I missing one? Um, and then sunflower seed oil. Sunflower seed oil, I tell you, is, um, I guess I would equate it almost to sort of how we do um, the fractionated coconut oil as just sort of a nice, in general, um, oil for our, our you know roller balls because it just it's kind of a nice oil it you know it's got some nice properties of course but it's not the powerful house oil okay it's 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 not like the other ones I have been describing with all these high vitamins and all that kind of content sunflower oil is kind of that same thing um, they're inexpensive but they're, and they're useful for cosmetics and soap making so it's kind of like you'd do that oil and then you'd put in your specialty oils on top of that. Okay, does that make sense? It, it also kind of helps keep some of these things from being overly costly. You know, if it didn't have some of that in there to kind of bulk it up, it probably cost, you know, two, three times the amount that it does. Um, it also stores well. So, because um, it has a natural vitamin E, a fair amount of natural vitamin E, so that protects it too. So. It's, it's another reason why they put it in some of these many, 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 many skincare products. You'll, you'll start, if you start seeing sunflower oil, you know why. It's just that really nice, you know, it, 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 it um, evaporates nicely into your skin. Um, it's, uh, it's stable, and it's stable oil. So it's good to put in skincare formulations, again, to keep your, your, your formulation so that, you know, they're, they're good for use for quite some time. So that's why the sunflower seed oil is in there, all right? Um, so that's the, the, what I'm calling the facial carrier oil blend. And I hope this helps, all right? I hope you guys come in and watch this. Um, Cause I don't want you to say you didn't tell me and then it's all gone, all right? Okay, so then this is the, Oh dear, I'm dropping everything. Sorry. Back up there. I just don't want those oils to seep. Okay, so then this is the body carrier oil blend. And this is also a really, really nice um, combination of ingredients. And you can, I'm going to let you read the descriptions on doTERRA's site. That's, there's nothing wrong with them. I just really wanted you to, you know, get really targeted information on each one of the oils that's actually in it. Because I find it very interesting. And you'll you'll get a better understanding of why they chose these certain oils, because um, again they, these all tend to be very as you can tell, good in good elastin, collagen, good for mature skin, soothing, you know all those good things, benefits that we want from oils that we put on our body, once we know better, right? 
Okay, and, they, and again, these are kind of odorless, and so they're not, you know, nobody's gonna fuss over, oh, that smells too sweet, or that smells too, you know, whatever, right? Unless you, you know, unless you use this on your face and you add some, like, geranium or lavender or frankincense, all the things that you know are beautiful for your skin on top of it, that's where you customize it, right? Okay, so then the body oils, you can do the same thing too, but let's go into the, um, Specific. Oops. What did I do? I went over the. Oh, here we go. Okay. The body oil. You can do the same thing. So here's the oils that are in that. First off, these are the ones I especially had to look up because I don't use them necessarily. Uh, passion fruit oil. Okay. So passion fruit seed seed oil. Um, which is from the passion vine, and um, the high vitamin C of the fruit itself is also present in the oil, so helping support collagen formation in the skin. So again, we're talking that collagen, right? Massaged on the skin, the oil feels soft and soothing, relaxes tissues, and calming the body. Um, it's anti-inflammatory, anti-spasmodic, has sedative properties, so it's really good for use in massage, baby care, okay, and then of course all around skin care. Um, it's light and easily absorbed. That's the other thing, you know, when you select oils for all these things, you have to really factor in a lot, you know, you don't want the, something to be greasy and like sitting on your skin. It does, nobody likes that, it feels icky. Um, Unless you're doing more of a body butter and that kind of thing, that's a different feel. But for just an all-around oil that you want to put on, let's face it, you want it to feel nice, go into your skin easily, and then feel good afterwards, right? Okay, so the passion fruit seed oil benefits aging, dry, and cracked skin, and other difficult skin conditions. So, that's the, the one oil in it. The next one is, of course, jojoba. And I think we all know jojoba, except um, it's really not an oil. So if you really want to get technical about it, it's a liquid wax ester, okay? It doesn't contain a lot of triglycerides, which is the definition of an oil. And here's the, what I just re researched and found interesting, is that... Um, it was originally developed in the 70s as a commercial product to replace sperm whale oil, okay? So isn't that interesting? It was developed as a agricultural crop. I mean, it's, the plant's been around for, for years, but it was produced as an agricultural crop, and its various products are chemically similar and even function, functionally superior to the oil from the sperm whale. So this is what it was replacing. Um, it grows in the semi-desert um, in an environment where heat and dryness would kill most plants. So the oil or liquid wax is really what it is, protects the plant by s sealing the pores against evaporation in high daytime temperatures. That's why it's more of a wax. So it's an excellent oil for the skin. We still call it an oil. Um, emollient, regenerative, restructuring, and toning. It's a really popular oil for skin care, you know, as we know. It provides a light film that maintains moisture yet allows the skin to breathe. Okay, the same way waxy esters are present in both jojoba and the sebum of our skin, thus it's highly compatible. That's why they say it's just sort of like, almost like nature's uh, plant plant, um, a plant variety of like our skin oil, right? That's why we, we react to it so beautifully. Um, and it's really mixes well with other substances without separation. So it dissolves easily with the oils of the skin. Hey Luann, how are you? I'm glad I'm not just talking to myself here. <laughs> I hope you'll go back and, and listen to this because I think you'll love it with all the plant oils. That I'm talking about. Um, okay, so it um, 
doesn't clog pores, it protects against and treats conditions of acne. It also um, assists in the healthy production of the acid mantle that guards against harmful bacteria and skin imbalances. So, so now we've got two of the oils that we were talking about in this skin oil. Um, the other one that I have heard much about but I have not used yet, so I'm glad that I was able to look this one up, is Baobab, B-A-O-B-A-B. And that is one of the oils in here as well. Um, it's, it's known across the African content, continent, excuse me, sometimes called the upside down tree because it's unusual shape. These trees live like 6,000 years. Um, so even baobab oils that are refined, so sometimes you find refined, unrefined, this doesn't specify, I'm assuming it's probably refined, baobab oils contain an array of vitamins and phytonutrients including vitamins A, D, and E. And the oil has significant regenerating, moisturizing, and toning properties, and is able to restructure and soften the skin. So baobab oil aids mature skin by improving elasticity of the tissues and supporting collagen health. So here's that collagen again. It's able to soothe cuts, burns, and alleviate painful skin conditions. So this is excellent for use in healing ointments made for damaged skin, but as you can imagine, it's also used before and after sun care, okay, because it's healing, and uh, repair of acne and rosacea conditions. So that's the baobab that's in here. And then we're not still not done. This one has amazing um, oil properties. The next one is moringa oil. tab here. I do, even though these are alphabetical, I still think do such a great job. Um, there you are, Moringa oil. Okay, um, Moringa has actually been found in Egyptian burial tombs. The leaves, nuts, and oil of Moringa were used by the ancient Egyptians. Ah, yes, Luann, you're, you're going to want this. Um, so as, the, as food and skin care, so they use it for both reasons, of course. They were an important part of Egyptian culture. Culture, An African name for the tree is Nebede, which means the tree that never dies. So um, the oil is commercially known as, is that Ben oil or Behan oil? Hmm, I've always seen Moringa, so I don't know. Um, this one has such a long chain fatty acid mantle that it helps resist rancidity for up to five years. So this one will stay shelf stable for years. They use it a lot in perfumery. Okay, and here's what we want to know though. It's rich in monounsaturated mono oleic acid. The oil is emollient and moisturizing, able to heal roughness and dry skin, okay? Um, and it's less oily than many oils that are high in the oleic acid that it has, um, which is nice for us because we, again, we want it to absorb quickly, right? But it has very high antioxidant properties. So again, it keeps it very stable, max stop. Um, and it protects our skin and hair from damage by oxidation and environment. Okay, so there's the Moringa oil. Calm down, buddy. My goodness. Um, okay, so there we go. We've got passion fruit in here. And again, this is the carrier oil blend for body. We've got the passion fruit in here, the jojoba, the baobab, moringa, tocopherol again, that's our vitamin E, and sunflower seed oil, okay? So again, you can add um, your essential oils to it if you like. You don't need to. You know, sometimes you may just want something that doesn't have scent, and that's totally fine. Totally odorless, okay? So, um, again, I just, I really just feel like these two products, this and this um, Sensitive Skin Carrier Oil, might be getting lost in the shuffle of all the other products that came out at convention, and I think they're incredibly valuable. 
Um, again, you can, with this, you can, you know, create a custom massage oil blend. Um, you can add a few drops to your bath water, smooth it on after a bath or shower. I did that um, the other night. I just, you know, took a shower and then I just smoothed this on. It just went into my skin so beautifully. You can apply it to dry spots like elbows and knees, of course, like any other you know, moisturizer you would use. But because these are limited time offer, I really just wanted to jump in here, um, tout the incredible benefits to these and, you know, have you try something that is a real kind of specialty product on the market that can be quite costly. And these are not bad. Um, like I said, the, the little bottle for, that you probably use more for facial is like $16.50 for wholesale. And then the bigger body carrier oil is $24.50. So I think for what you're getting and the incredible benefits you're getting, these are quite reasonable on the market, all right? So I just didn't want, to, want you to miss them. And again, um, limited time offer, which means, you know, they have question mark by it, who knows? Um, but once they're gone, they're probably gone, unless we can encourage them to bring them back. Um, but right, for right now, you can get up to four of them. So if you, you know, put, so put them on your LRP if you're at all interested in at least trying them. Um, like I said, I don't want you to ask me afterwards, like, how come you didn't tell me about those? <laughs> so now I have, okay? I am a huge fan of them and I'm using them daily, okay? So I hope this helps guys, all right? So I love you from here, Mwah. bye.